Welcome back to MKF Performance and Off-Road. In this video, we're gonna show you how to program utilizing Alpha OBD and OBD Link MX Plus Bluetooth uh, adapter to successfully program your LED turn signals and any other LED options that you may install. As always, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna unplug anything that you have plugged into the OBD adapter. So if you have a program or any of that stuff, you're gonna disconnect it. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the OBD Link MX Plus and install it into the OBD port. You can see that, let's see. Light kinda blurs it, but you're gonna plug it in. Okay. What you're gonna do, you're gonna turn the key on to ignition. Next thing you'll do is start up your tablet. You're gonna connect. Okay, now that your OBD Link MX Plus is connected to Alpha OBD or to your tablet or phone or whatever you have, you go down here and you'll select Dodge Ram. RAM 2500 or whatever you have. So we have a 2500. Okay. Body computer. I'm going to go to that one. But first, what I want to do is I want to read the faults. Let's, see. Let's go ahead and connect to it. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and read all faults. Okay, so you got front, right, side marker, lamp control, short circuit to battery, positive, open circuit. That's the first one. And then we have front, left, side marker, lamp control. So front, right, so turn signal, front, right and turn signal front left. Okay, so we got those. <clears throat> so we go in here, and scroll down until we see car configuration change. All right, now we wanna start looking for our CBC features and the ones that specifically say, um, Get rid of that. Now the ones that specifically say LED. So we want to look for which ones we have that actually say LED. This. Let's try this. Current status of the component is not set. We've got it set for yes. We're gonna hit next. Okay, it's gonna show that the procedure is complete. All right, we're gonna back out. And then we're gonna key off and wait a few minutes. All right guys, it's important to note that with each one of these changes, general rule of thumb is you want to wait. Um, I think it's about five minutes that everybody's had success with. So what I like to do is I actually remove everything. So I take the OBD link off. Um, I remove the key, turn the ignition, so the ignition power off. Um, and then I just wait about five minutes. All right, guys. So while we're waiting, um, let's just dive in and we'll look at a couple things that you can set on here. Um, I know right now there's a couple people that I've talked to that are having issues with uh, LED bulbs in different locations. So uh, this is something that I wanted to cover anyways. We do have uh, Hikari LED bulbs in both the low beam and the high beam locations on our Alpharex lights. They're Alpharex Pro Series lights 
and everything was pretty much plug and play as long as you buy the ones that are specifically designed for H7 um, mounts. So I think Hikari did a pretty good job. Uh, we we're very happy with the brightness of them and the distance that we are receiving, but um, I know some people are, they don't have the Alpha Rex lights, they've got Morimoto's, um, XB housings with LEDs already in them. Uh, so that's one thing that we are definitely going to be attempting to get right on another truck. So uh, the one thing that comes with all this is there's no way that you can know everything. So what I would say is research is your friend. Uh, there's forums out there, specifically the, the Cummins or the Ram forums um, that are very helpful under the threads, whether it's Alpha OBD, Morimoto, XB headlights, or whatever. So if you just search the forums, you'll find a ton of answers with um, different settings that you can change. But one of the settings that I wanted to go over is just changing your lighting to LEDs. So with the LED, uh, what I've read is that the just changing the setting or enabling the LEDs in the different locations. Um, so if you go into the body computer <clears throat> for whatever year, so say you got 2013 to um, a 2017, you'll wanna hit the vehicle system interface module, MY 2013 to 17 power net. In our case, we have a 2018, so I'm gonna select a 2018. And right now it's not really doing much because we're not gonna connect because we're waiting for the truck to just kinda have the settings take hopefully, and, and hopefully we don't have to wait overnight or 24 hours for the take effect, which has happened to some people. So with that being said, you can still go down here to the bottom and you can just kinda check out the settings. Uh, or the categories, it's always going to be, um, you're, you're always going to make your changes in your car configuration change. So you select the car configuration change, and then you go ahead and you go down to, get rid of this keyboard, you go down to um, your CBC features. Oh, there it is. So CBC uh, LED features. Now with this, the LED, um, enabling the LED um, settings for whichever light that you're trying to do, it will not disable your PWM uh, part of the lighting circuit. So <clears throat> this may enable a, uh, a flickering, you might get a flickering of the, the LEDs. So that's one thing that you'll want to turn on the high intensity discharge or the HID setting for. So from what I've read, to get rid of the flickering, you may have to set the, uh, let's see, the front LED low beam lamps to uh, enabled, or yes, you have LED low beams, yes, you have LED high beam lamps, so on and so forth, along with the HID setting. So th these are just features that you can go into and you can actually tell the BCM, hey, I've got these LED lights installed rather than a halogen bulb. And it should change the uh, voltage output to the lighting. Um, and then if you turn off or you turn on in, or enable HID, um, it will turn off your PWM which I believe is the uh, pulse width modulation, is I think is what I looked up. So you can select yes there, start, and it'll it'll change it. And then you just do that for every for every feature that you want to um, enable. So go here. So I'm not sure where exactly the HID one is. We'll have to kind of, you'll have to scroll through and find the HID option, but um, that's one thing that we're definitely gonna try um, on another another person's truck is uh, that's having the flickering with the Morimoto XBs is enabling the HID, well, LED first, and then if that doesn't get rid of it, uh, we're gonna enable the HID as well. Um, one thing that I do want to mention is that because the, these lighting circuits um, are run on these trucks with CAN bus, CAN bus can throw you for a loop and do some really crazy things. So when it sees a fault or, or it has an issue, 
um, it tends to kind of act up and, and it can really do some wonky stuff. So just know that, you know, by, by changing things, uh, as far as like housings or lighting or whatever, um, you can inhibit a, uh, a pretty good set of, of symptoms that might kind of get you, get you thinking. Okay, so now it's been about five minutes. We're going to go ahead, plug everything back up. Start with the key, key on. Okay. It says it's connected to already. So it's connected to Ram 2500, body computer, okay, control unit, the R power net. Okay, so thought it was connected, but apparently it didn't like whatever that was. Okay, so now we've got body computer. Power net, connect. All right, check engine, read all faults. Okay, we're gonna clear faults. Read, no faults found. Okay, so now we'll go ahead Try our turn signals. And mind you, none of these turn signals actually like they don't flash weird. They don't they don't really do anything out of the norm. They weren't doing that before. The only reason that I knew that they were throwing a fault was because um, I got on here one day and it just happened to to show me a fault. So um, we just figured we'd go ahead and do that. Uh, likewise for the low beam and the high beam LED lights. There's there's no faults that it's showing up, so we can set them, but. Um, I don't think it's really going to change anything personally. Okay, so now that we've had it running for a little bit um, on ignition power, we don't have any other faults that it has read. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to call that good. So that is how you set your turn signals so that uh, they don't throw faults with the Alpha Rex LED, um, or I'm sorry, Alpha Rex. Pro Series uh, LED headlights. All right, guys, the next thing that I'm going to attempt to do, uh, even though we don't have any codes, um, some, some of you might say, you know, don't fix it if it ain't broke, but uh, I'm going to try it just to see what it does. But we've got the LED bulbs installed in the low beam and the high beam. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell the system that those are present. Next. Okay, procedure's complete. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. All right, I'm going to key off. Disconnect everything. And come back in about five minutes. I know we did two on that one. Um, but I'm just going to try it and see. I've done I've done these before where um, we've set the we've set more than one thing, and <clears throat> it's been fine. But it's just a best practice kind of thing uh, for setting 
for setting your, your features, so. All right, it's connected. Go ahead and connect here. All right, verify connection. Get on the check engine. We'll read faults, there's no faults. So again, we, we don't have any faults. We didn't have any faults with, uh, with the LED lights or anything like that to begin with. But this is just one more thing um, that you can do if you are getting, uh, getting a fault. Researching this is probably your best friend. Um, I'm not going to say that I know everything about Alpha OBD, but um, I can read and everything that I have done, I have literally read or, or physically done um, as far as setting it on my own truck. So I'm not going to tell you guys to do something that I, I physically have not done yet. Um, and, and that's just how I am. So with that being said, this will uh, conclude this video. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If it's helped you, uh, give it a thumbs up, smash that like button, and uh, don't forget to, to subscribe to us. You can also follow us on Instagram. And anything that we use in this video or any other videos uh, will be linked down below in the description. And you can access Amazon uh, and find them right on Amazon. Uh, so that, that goes with like the, the bulbs, the um, any of the programming stuff, Alpha OBD, OBD Link MX Plus, uh, Hikari Ultra Bulbs, Hikari Bulbs, uh, or any of that stuff. So, uh, as always, thanks again. We appreciate all you guys' support, and we'll see you guys next time.